And I said, no, nah, I don't think that's it, you know. But Billy doesn't tell me. Ralph evidently has been calling Billy over and over again to write him a stand-up act. No. No. Jeez. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> How funny is that? I was right out of left field, too. Yeah. What are you talking about? Now he what? has that quiz. You're, 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 you're quiz kidding. Look no. On his face. According to uh, Billy, you've asked me for for uh, for uh, Billy to write you a stand-up act. No. It's completely not true. You, you don't. You don't call Billy. No, I have never called. You've never Billy. spoken to V West. I've spoken to V. And but you never asked if Billy could write you funny jokes. <laughs> No. Really? I swear to God. Oh, we'll wait till Billy gets in here. Yeah. yeah. We'll confront you then. Because Billy claims you're trying to put together a stand-up. Act. <laughs> well, I wouldn't make that up. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that Billy I, I, would I, make that up. I, Bill, <laughs> Billy needs to be medicated, or maybe he is. Maybe I that's don't know. The problem. I don't know. Maybe that's why he looks like a spaz on the E network. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I do impressions. I don't know. Billy. All right, very good. All right, I'll find out when he comes yeah. in. Okay. Thank you. Rara retard. <laughs> Oh, I hope that's true. Yeah, this man. Ralph, I give him a job to do. It's, it always backfires. I gotta just. I end up doing it myself. You know, I'm really into biking now. Mm -hmm. You know, I go bike riding every day. Now, why is Ralph involved? Well, when I bike ride, you need you evidently need special glasses. Yeah. Bike riding glasses? Yeah, I know it sounds corny, but the reason <laughs> you need them is the wind. I never realize how much the wind and the dirt kick up into your face. Oh yeah, you get grit. What? You get oh my grit. god! I mean, I could barely open my eyes this morning. So. So you need th something like goggles? No, they're sunglasses, but they wrap around almost like Yoko wraps around her sunglasses. Well, you know. Well, that would be a type of goggle. Yeah, like a sports glasses mm -hmm. they call them. So. Unfortunately, I can't see that good, and I don't wear contact lenses, so you have to put some sort of prescription in these goggles, and it's very difficult because the goggles wrap around, and it's hard to put a lens in them. Yes. So, uh, that started me on my search for sports gla you know, sunglasses. So, I bought a pair at the bike shop. They cost like 150 bucks, 200 bucks, and they put an eyeglass piece inside the glasses. So, in other words, you have glasses on your nose, and then they then the wrap around glasses. Oh. You have two apparatus on your nose, and I got a big nose. Thank God, I can carry all these apparatus. <laughs> You've got room for a couple more sets. But when I bought those, it was by a company called Bole, and they're off my face so that all the dirt and grit get right Still up into my eyes. In you. So you need wrap around glasses. So, I. I don't know. It just seems like it's very difficult to get these glasses. So there's this company, Oakley, that makes glasses, mm -hmm. and they actually can do it so that there's not two glasses, there's only they one glasses. They make one pair of glasses yeah, one, with a prescription lens. Yeah, but they have to do it themselves. And I put Ralph in charge of get me some Oakleys, but also in the meantime, Oakley takes like six weeks to get you the glasses. So then there was another pair of sunglasses with like these uh, like motorcycle glasses, like like the sides are covered up so you don't get dirt in your eye. I tell Ralph to get me the glasses. I send them over there. Then the guy says Ralph told him not to make the glasses. Then I finally call over there. Ralph. Now Ralph was supposed to pick me up the glasses today. Now I find out that the glasses have gone out to Long Island. My wife's supposed to pick them up. That means I'll never get the friggin' glasses. <laughs> I put him in charge. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, Gay Rich is involved. I got twenty. I got Gay Rich, my wife, the guy Lloyd There's from the glasses place. Involved. I just want the friggin' glasses. I can't see. How is that my fault? And it broke down when you made the call to the no, shop. No, no, no. I shouldn't make... have been involved. You didn't need to be involved. You would have. Oh, had... I don't need to be involved. Where's you, my glasses? I still don't have glasses. You would have had them first thing this morning. What is you it, Gary? You sure I would have. I got, sure I I got, got a... supposed to have them yesterday. No, 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 no. I got a weird call from the eye guy yesterday. Yeah, they weren't ready buddy, yesterday. Your buddy Lloyd, and. He said he wanted to know if he could drop the glasses off with somebody that your wife is friends with. Carol. And I said, hey, you know what? You better call Ralph. I don't know what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, and then he called Ralph, and it didn't get straightened out. Because he wanted to give them to, like, your neighbor, and I didn't even know who it no, was. No, 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 yeah. no. I mean, I don't know he, what he, happened, he, but he Ralph didn't screwed call up. me. I called you him. Yeah, and you spoke to him, so what happened? And he told me he talked to you, and he set it up where Carol was going to bring no, him to the house. No, I don't want my wife involved. I don't want Carol involved. I didn't do and anything. And then I tried to call you to find out if this was okay, whatever, and you never called me back. So what do you want me to I do? I didn't get your message, Dick Wad. Well, I don't Dick have to. Wad, I can't sit Dick by the Wad, machine. Check your machine. No. I don't want a guy who I got to get twenty-five calls from. Get you, me the glasses no. now. Get out. Get out of here. Get me the you, glasses. You don't have to make twenty-seven you're, you're, calls. You you're should, incompetent. Why did you call the eye man? Why did you call them? Why did I call them? Yeah. Because you were unable to deliver the glasses to me as of yesterday when I gave Gay Rich ten dollars to go pick up because the glasses. Because they weren't ready. They so weren't. So why didn't you call These me and tell take me that? Time. Why didn't you call and tell me that? I had I to go did. find out. You weren't there. You no, didn't you didn't. 
Gordon, be back. I checked my machine at 1 o'clock when I called the I-Man and you hadn't called me. And don't yell at me because you don't know what you're doing. And all I incompetent do. people yell because they don't do their job. I still don't have the glasses. Is that why you're yelling? Yeah. It wasn't my job to get done. Am I right? I give him a job. All I know is my wife's involved, Carol's involved. I want my glasses. You shouldn't have been involved. That's where it broke down. You would have had no, him this yeah, morning. I'm sure. I was in the city all day. You told day. me I, I was going to have him, him yesterday. Up. Yeah, I saw. I saw how I was supposed to get him yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Well, I waited what, here at one o'clock and never when got you it. Called me at six thirty one night and say you needed glasses. I got on my blades and ran into the city. Ralph, like a maniac. Are they here? Are the glasses in my hand this morning? No, and it's your fault. Uh, okay, thank you. You would have had. Him, you would have had him if you didn't call and make arrangements. Thank you. For thank you for helping me out. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out. Now my wife's involved. I'll never see the glasses. Like, I never see food in the house, and I don't see anything else I need. <laughs> I can't go get them today. I got to go for a nail and foot appointment. I talked to your wife last night, and yeah. she, she said they'd be there for yeah. the morning. I bet you I guarantee it. When I come home, they won't be on my desk. Well, I'll do everything I'll be doomed. I can to make sure Thank you. I'm well, now here. they're in another system you can't even delay. Now, yeah, you now, can't stop that from happening. No, Ralph yeah. couldn't stop that. After he spoke to you, he couldn't say, no, I will pick them up tomorrow. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Has to involve my wife. He always involves my I wife. I didn't. I didn't involve your wife. I don't want to hear it anymore. Get out. I didn't. I'm just you saying. Don't that, hear it I I'm didn't right. ask you in. I was talking to Robin. I don't want to talk to you. I read Prodigy. No one likes you. <laughs> you like me. <laughs> All right, get out of here. <laughs> I'm working on my act. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hear about this. According to Billy, Ralph has been trying to get some sort of stand-up act together. That I gotta hear. I want to. Yeah, Ralph, have you ever told a joke? No, not professionally. <laughs> that doesn't stop him. You know what it is? I think Ralph's saying, hey, I get on the radio once in a while, like a rolling these guys. Maybe I can make some appearances. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I need an act. <laughs> I need something to do. Right. You know, they all start out that way. Write me a few minutes of material. Yeah. They either go to Jackie or Billy. Yeah. Everyone's afraid to go to Fred. <laughs> I would go to Fred. All right. Why don't you do an act where you try suicide on stage, like you try oh, to kill yourself oh. each time? Like that, like, like that da Daffy Duck cartoon? Yeah, drinks like a like Daffy that. Duck cartoon. Everyone can relate to that, Ralph. Yeah. Everyone's seen that. All right, thank you. You're right in touch with America. Daffy Everybody Duck. Everybody has seen that. Way to tap in. Out of way to tap into America's psyche. Daffy Duck cartoons. <laughs> Why don't you appear somewhere and blow out the audience's hair? <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Now that's fun. See, that's, that's an what, act. That's an act. You can blow out different people's hair on stage. And it's constructive. And it's good. My left eye. <laughs> and you can engage him in inane conversations while he does I think it. you should layer your hair. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just trying to get these glasses for my new hobby. <laughs> The moment after he gets these glasses, and my I'll hobby will be over. Yeah. <laughs> By the time I get the glasses, I'll be blind and have no hobby. <laughs> hey, as long as Billy just walked in, Billy, how come you told me yesterday that Ralph was asking you to write him a stand-up act, and then you just walked in and said you were lying? I made it up. Why? You better mean you were serious. I wanted to stir it up. Oh, uh, you did not. Come on, what happened? What? What are you? T what are you saying? I was just fooling around. Jackie, was he? How fooling did this around? come up? No, wait a minute, Willie. That whole thing about Ralph belly. talking to, to V was totally made up? Yeah. Why did you make it up? I don't know. I wanted to stir it up. But how can you stir it up? What are you stirring up? I don't understand. I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. What was going through your mind? Nothing. But you were dead serious. I mean, you weren't stirring anything up. You said that Ralph had gone to V at the at the Scott Einziger's wedding and asked that you write him a stand-up act. No. But that's what you told me yesterday. No, I didn't. Well, all right, what, what, what I heard him say to you... I don't was that on three different occasions, he'd ask V to... to that ask, Ralph said to V, could you write... Do you think you could get Billy to write me a few funny lines to say... I think Billy's like a, a weird guy and like... Well, I told I'm wondering this if, too. He, I'm wondering he told you v, this too? Yeah. V might in, have put the, the kibosh on this. this. He told you this? Yeah, Billy told me the same thing. Yeah, I know. Well, why would you lie Billy, about? why are you running around lying about me like that? Well, I can I, understand. That I don't totally. know. This this lion thing feels so good. Now I see why everybody's so into it. <laughs> Are you having a nervous <laughs> breakdown, man? <laughs> you're you're Billy? really weird, Billy. I know. I think they transplanted too many hairs yeah. in your head. No, I think I think V said that maybe V and Ralph have a bond or something. No, I have a feeling V oh. lied to Billy about it. But and now, and now he's Billy, for her? but why would she? Why would she do that? She likes. Ralph. Well, why would you do it? But why would she feel so neglected that she has to make up something? To, why do you? Why do you why feel so you? neglected? I mean, pull, substitute your own name. 
<laughs> this is a very strange thing. Yesterday, I'm sitting in here, and we're talking about Ralph, because, you know, Ralph had been acting weird at Scott Einziger's wedding. Hey, hey, can I just say, I wasn't and Billy acting says weird, to me, I was having I think, fun. But Billy, yeah, but Billy said to me, quite, quite in seriousness, said, you know... Ralph sort of wants to be a performer. I said, well, no. So I he had a whole premise behind... Uh... Yeah, and I said, Billy, I don't think so. And all the guys were here. And he goes, well, he's already like called V like two or three times, and you know, my wife, and asked uh, if I could write him a stand-up act. And no laughing, like, no. ha, 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 that's a joke. No, and then even Jackie said, hey, you know, I'm surprised uh, he never called me. Hmm. And I said, uh, <laughs> and we were goofing on Jackie, actually. Uh-huh. But Billy never said at that point... No, it no, wasn't my, like a my, joke. My theory... Th right, Fred? It didn't seem like humor. No, there was nothing funny about it. It was and kind then, of matter of fact. It no, wasn't like it was me, headed for the air. He told me he wasn't laughing. He goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, you know, you know, you know. Ralph's approached V a number of times, and yeah. Answer. And then, he, he and then I said, well, did he kidding. offer to pay and stuff? He goes, no. I don't know what he wants to do. Yeah, he didn't say he was only kidding. And I said, well, what, so. But then Jackie said, well, maybe Ralph just wants to be funny around here. You know, when he comes in on the air yeah. and have a couple of lines. He goes, no, he wants a stand-up act. So I said. I said, gee, I don't know. He's never mentioned this to me. And didn't he saying it to John away from <laughs> oh, you? Weird. So it's like yeah. a different conversation he brings this Yeah, up? so Billy, why would you? I mean, wh tell me the truth. Tell All me right, the God's I, honest truth. What I, happened? I thought it might embarrass him if I brought it up. Cause, cause but it he, is cause true. Because he, he didn't so go it to is me. True. He didn't go to me. He went to V. At uh, Robin's book signing. And one time before that. But she was stunned. She thought he was kidding around. So and it is true. So it is true. Yeah, oh, man. True. Billy, you're so Wait, 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 wait. Billy, is it true or not? It's true. Then why are you saying it's not true? Because I wanted to see if how far he's going to take this. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, it's not true. The other day I had this theory that you have angst about being a performer. You're surrounded by performers, right. and, and you can't perform, so you're kind of causing a calamity wherever you go no, Ralph in, has in said real to life. Me, Ralph has said to me, you know, gee, I wish I could play an instrument. I'd start a band or something, because, you know, now he has some sort of fame, even though it's negative fame. <laughs> so and you can kind of feel uh, that. No, that's why, that's why it makes total sense. No, that we, been, we, yeah. we, we joke around about that. He I mean, says, if yeah, I wanted I, to learn an instrument, I could. And, and Ralph has often said to me, you know, Gary goes to these performances, you know, goes to these appearances and doesn't even try to prepare anything. You know, you think he'd prepare something so people wouldn't feel so ripped off. I I didn't say that. Well, I mean, you know, we've had that kind of yeah. Well, we, yeah, just talking about yeah. like what these guys go out and do. Right, kind of lame. Yeah, you say you'd want to do so. So I, I mean, but so, I didn't say I wanted to do it. So anything. why did you? So you started calling V? No, you've never called V. I just called no. V. This yeah, is, this gets even weirder now. So I called V and I said, V, come on, what's the deal? Did Ralph ever ask you? And she goes, I think I'd like to quote the great murderer football player OJ and say, I plead the fifth. So I said, No, V, really, you know, no kidding around. Did you she goes, I plead the fifth. Now I go, V, come on, be serious. She goes, I plead the fifth, and I couldn't get anything else out of her except get, get, I plead the fifth. The so what obviously happened is that she told Billy this whole cockamamie story. And she must be feeling weird now. And now Billy's covering for her. Yeah, she must be feeling weird with Ralph, and she wants to like... But I don't know why she would do that, though. Is she that neglected? Get her on the so phone. you think V made it up, or you think V's covering for Ralph? <laughs> I think V made it up. She told Billy this oh. whole convoluted story. She likes Ralph. Story. She likes Ralph. She wouldn't... She do. likes him, but she wants to feel like she's conducting business on your behalf or something, so... Let, let me I just, mean, she just wants to... You think V now made this up? If I was going to go to anybody, I'd go to you. Maybe if he likes you so much, he wants to work on a stand-up act with you. <laughs> hey, if <laughs> you want he wants to represent Ralph. Wait a minute, have you ever even said jokingly to V? No, that's why... <laughs> Billy, no she, it is true, though, as far as you know, that she said yeah. this? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Your wife's... Oh, boy. <laughs> is your wife getting wacky? Well, Who cares? She's good in bed. I don't know. Getting. <laughs> I, I gotta say, Nancy Sirianni's looking like the most stable out of the mm -hmm. bunch. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that it's V because I was scared for a second that Billy had lost it. I know. Well, Billy's covering for his wife. Well, who does it? Well, hey, V. V. Good morning. Good morning. Why'd you tell Billy that that Ralph's been asking for a stand-up act? I never in a million years said Ralph has asked for a stand-up act. That's not oh. true. So Billy. Yeah, no, I never said that. What? What did you, you tell me? You embellished a little bit. What's the right said jokes? That he came to her privately more than once, and it was kind of weird. I thought about what maybe he was kidding around. See if you could get Billy to write some stuff for me, will you? <laughs> yeah. And, and she was like, V, has Ralph huh? come up to you and asked you <laughs> to get Billy to write some stuff? Twice. What? what? When? Oh. V. V. When? Oh. Ralph. V, what what are you Ralph. talking about? Uh. <laughs> Ralph. V. Ralph, look at where you are. You're in the, pardon my French, F and catbird seat. You know, Howard would help you with anything. Go for it, Ralph. Take advantage of the situation. You know, come on. Let's tell the truth. Well, I don't know what you're talking. I mean, if I did, I would be upfront about it. I would ask how. Right. First of all, if I if I wanted any advice, I would go to Howard. Nobody else. No insult right. to anybody else, but I wouldn't go to. V, are you saying that I, he came to you and said this, and now he's denying it? 
Ralph. V, when? Ralph. What are you talking about? Ralph, Ralph, don't make me do this. You and I have a special thing. Come on, Ralph. V, v, don't, v, don't make me do v, this, V, you're Ralph. great. I love you, but I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea. I Who do you believe, it. Robin? <laughs> I gotta think V's telling the truth now. Do you? Ralph's protesting. He's turning red over there. No, I'm not. Really. I think I'm believing I, Ralph. Really? I think I, I, so. Let's look at I me, mean, Ralph. I like V. I like Ralph. I just don't... I don't... I just... I can't imagine that v, Ralph... V, why don't you tell him where he said it? Yeah, what yeah. was this? Refresh his memory. The first time, I don't even exactly remember where I was. I just remember being really stunned. Really, really so stunned I. because I don't... You know, well, I had no comeback for it. So then the second time, I can tell you exactly where that was, and I'm really PO'd at myself because I've been through it once before. I should have had a snappy retort to get me out of it. But, you know, I... Get you out of get it? Get you out of what? Out of what? You she doesn't want Billy writing for Ralph. You want, if you want Billy to write for you, he's more than happy to. Approach me. We'll discuss, you know... But he did approach the, you. The size of his paycheck is. You can't just say to me offhandedly, you know, uh, get Billy to write me a few lines. You know, <laughs> what do you think I could be for? Get, get Billy to write a few lines for me once in a while. I believe Ralph. I think V's making this all up. Where was the second place? No, 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 you guys are just trying to make me nuts. This no, is no, like no, I swear to no, you. No, no, maybe you don't know. Second second place? I, think, I think V is making this all up because she can't remember when Ralph asked her. She says she but knows wait, wait, about the second stop. place for sure. Wait, yeah, the second, where is the second place? When we were at Rosales. What's Rosales? Robin's book signing. The book party at the book, there was no, a no, no, you guys no, no, went to no, a restaurant no, no, no. afterwards. There was no drugs or alcohol involved. Wait, 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 wait. Robin signing um, in town. Was it Rizzoli's or Brent Thomas? Oh my God, I'm giving a plug to them. It was at the book signing that I attended, Robin. Oh, the book signing right. in Manhattan. Mm. The, the first one. And you and you, V, you're saying that Ralph walked up to you and said, "Would Billy?" Uh, could we were talking. And I, we were talking at a restaurant. Did you say? No, at the bookstore. Not at a restaurant. Never said at a restaurant. I said it was not at a book party. It was not at the book party. It was at the book signing that I attended. And so it was in Manhattan. I have not gone anywhere yeah, else. That, that first one. Sorry, Robin. And it was like in the bookstore I, I approached you? We were talking and it came up. You didn't come out of the blue and go, hey, V, blah, 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 blah. Come on, Ralph. What, you, what, what did, I, what did I say? Credit, I have no, I, what did I say? You said, you know, I'm a little funny guy. You get Billy to write a few lines for me. And I'm just stunned when you say that because, you know, you want to discuss it. Let's talk about it. But, you know, Billy is more than happy to write for people as long as there's a check in the mail. I wish okay, Billy would write something for me. V, 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 v. I got a check in the mail, v. and Billy won't write a damn thing. Oh, don't take me down that road. Really? Oh. What road am I taking you down? Come on, Billy contributes quite a bit. Uh, I'm very proud. There you go. I'm very proud. <laughs> His mom? But anyway, listen, V, what was the conversation leading up to that? Because... Maybe oh, Ralph, now you need context? You well, I don't know. Ralph? I have no, I never, I you never. You know what? The maybe mo most of what you say, I listen to, you listen to me, but I can't remember everything because nothing stuns me and nothing has that much chutzpah, quite frankly. No one has ever approached me and asked me Billy. that. <laughs> Billy's just sitting there quiet. <laughs> <laughs> He's whipped. Jeez, I hate doing this. Why? I v, v, I, 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 I swear to God, I, I, really I, like I, you, I, I really, do. I really like you too, and I have no idea what you're talking about. You didn't joke around, about I, you know. Maybe, like maybe that. that's why I'm trying to ask uh, what the conversation was. Maybe you said well, something like, "You know what? The first time you said it, but it, it sounds like V was, so was insulted. I thought, yeah, maybe you why, were but you know what doesn't make sense about V's story? So why would she be so insulted by this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand any of it. Why wouldn't she just say, Ralph? I don't understand V. Why wouldn't V just say, "Hey, if if you want Billy to write for you, then let's discuss payment." Are you serious? Then give me a call at this number. Then why would you try to avoid that conversation? Because I really didn't feel Ralph was approaching me in a in a business manner. I felt that he was asking me to have Billy just do him a favor and do this for him. And that and you Ralph, know, you swear you don't even know what she's talking about. Him and Billy, and that you know Billy. I, I, <laughs> you know me. I swear to you. Ralph would admit it. I would. I know he would. I would. Okay, you know I, I, I admit I was Howard, a little Howard, here, please. Howard, I have a nation's worth of people listening to me now. No. If I was really going to BS, why don't I have something to plug? I have nothing to plug. I have a shower I need to take and a day to begin. I understand. So, all right, all right, no, take it easy. I'm oh, lying, boy. Okay. All right. Hey, I'm not saying you're lying. I don't, I don't no, even want to argue with it. I think that somehow there was a gross misunderstanding. You, 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 know, you know what? Maybe, maybe we're that must have been what it was. Well, why wouldn't Ralph know? go up to Billy and ask him directly? But I'm saying, Ralph didn't really ask this. Hmm. There's something happened that somehow she took it that Ralph was asking Billy just to jot off some lines for him. I don't know. But there was never any real... It doesn't seem maybe to be. There was not, maybe Ralph question. was joking, and maybe maybe hold on a second. Hold on. A few lines Robin, was I didn't get the joke. Was there any chance at this book signing that Ralph might have been called to your side and maybe 
ask some questions by the press or something like no. that? No. You know what I mean? Like, no, listen, listen you, you know what? Saying? Jackie, thank you. I never know what you're saying. What the hell was he doing? <laughs> right. No, maybe Ralph, Ralph was, maybe your Ralph was going to be an uh, interview by the press and they needed some Ralph was so bulletproof, you just believe right. him point blank. No, I don't. You know, Jackie, stop being obnoxious. and always You believe Ralph point blank. I'm saying this story makes no sense. Ralph's bulletproof. You believe anything he says. It's not that. It doesn't make sense. Why would V be insulted by Ralph and asking? And why would Ralph well, be pulled totally off to the wack. side to be so interviewed? The story sounds wacky to me. And Ralph What's would not. If Ralph happened? wanted lines written for him, he'd be the first one to admit it. He wouldn't be uptight about it. That's what's. That's so why. I, that's why I'm. I'm a little curious See, about. See, I all think this. something was said that really meant nothing to Ralph, but V. But maybe V uh, heard hard. something out of Ralph's mouth, and Ralph doesn't remember. Yeah. So I, 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 there's no resolution to this bit. I want to end it. I want to thank you, Ralph, for coming in. Yeah. V, thank you as always, <laughs> because there's really no way to prove what happened. I just thought it was unusual that Billy then was... It's been strange from the very beginning because then yeah. Billy came in and denied everything, so yeah. I don't know what it means. You know, I was perfectly happy talking about Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Baywatch made more sense. And V has a shower to take in a day to begin. That's Thank right, you. so let's Thank get you, out v. of her life. I know that uh, we just did like 20 minutes of ragging on Ralph, but... Baba Booey, just, it's the strangest thing just happened. Baba Booey comes in during the commercial and starts screaming about Ralph. And I said, well, you know, you had your opportunity. Why didn't you come in and scream about him? Screaming about him? Why? Oh, Baba, I don't know. He, because now he, because oh. Ralph has no respect for anybody on this show or for certain people on the show. And Ralph sees himself as a greater entity. He thinks that he should be... Um, a big character on the show that he should be going out doing appearances, and I think like when he oh. said before that he thinks that what I what I do is lame. It's only lame to him because he's not doing it, and he feels he should be getting appearances every week. I go I, I all do? I do. Hold on a second, Ralph. All I do is I go to places and I sign <laughs> pictures. So I don't know what preparation Ralph thinks I need to to have that makes me so lame. Because yeah, Ralph has said to me he thinks that when Gary goes out to do an appearance, that he's getting lame. a lot of money that he should go out and like. No, I thought no, no, no. that was rather the, prepare the, something. The answer, the answer is I'm getting a lot of money that Ralph thinks he should be getting. No, is that he's true, a big, Ralph? He's a big star, the big hairdresser, the big stylist. No, wh no why, why do you have that attitude, Gary? I, well, why would you say what I, I do is how, lame? How have I come across you with that? Now, we were having a conversation about what happened in Atlantic City, and that's what Howard's referring to. I didn't say every time you go out, it's lame or something like that. You just like said that. before, you said what Gary does is lame. Yeah. I, I was, you said, are you, I'll get the tape. When we were standing, I was just joking just now. When it's we, not we, funny we, to me. That's every time you, you do, every time I, you do, I, I to, I every time you blow out the, Howard's hair, it looks like I, crap. I, I was talking about, joke. I was just talking about the conversation that we had had when all that went down in Atlantic City. Well, it didn't when sound you were like having a, a what bikini a, contest. What that it sounded that, like? That I love when my staff is at war. No, 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 no. When you Ralph, had no Ralph, bikini girl. We all Ralph, shut up. That was lame. What we all what we all admit is that the Atlantic City thing was a disaster and it was lame. You didn't say you didn't qualify. You said when I go out, it's lame. You said when Gary goes out, it's lame. Now, I've, done, I've done probably 300 appearances over the last well, eight or nine years. Well, I don't know why Gary's the only one that's upset, because he said Gary and these guys. Right. Who are these I, guys? I, I, why, why do you have this attitude that you think that I want to go... Uh, hey, listen, if somebody wanted to give me $2,000 <laughs> to run, I'd be happy to do it. Well, just but, say, it just sounds, not, like, a little bit of, it sounds like a little bit of jealousy when you say what I do is lame. Well, you guys got into a fight back in the... Uh, yeah. I was I, is that, is, well, that's part of it. I say I was mad at Ralph because Ralph really... Is, Howard's right. He says Ralph is passive-aggressive, and he really is passive-aggressive, and he has no respect for me. I'm, it, I'm sitting at my desk, right? I'm having a conversation with Robin from the E! Show about w something we're going to do on tomorrow's show. In the middle of the conversation, Ralph gets right between the two of us, right between the two of us, and decides that he suddenly, at that moment, no other moment, has to look in my desk. So I said, Ralph, do you mind? I'm, I'm in the middle of a conversation. And he goes, dude, you could go on forever. I said, I could go, this is my desk, this is my office, you don't even, you shouldn't even be here. Ralph is supposed to come in, do Howard's hair in the morning, do Howard's hair again at 8.30, and be gone, but he's a part of all of our lives. Gary, he can I, look at my desk. There's there's eight hours a day you could be looking at my desk. Why at that moment because did you feel I, you had to get between I her and to, I so that I couldn't see her and have a conversation Because with that's her. why I was coming up there to do that, and I wanted to do it before I forgot. I had so, to check so, something. So, so that your life can be easier, you should, we should stop what we're doing. Just like yesterday, Howard had to go get his eyeglasses. So Ralph comes in and he says, hey, who can I send to get Howard's glasses? I said, send Gay Rich. John says to me, you know what? Gay Rich is in the middle of a really big project. Can we send Gorilla? Ralph goes, you know what, man? I just explained it all to Gay Rich, and I don't feel no, like explaining no, no, it again. No, no, no. And I heard Ralph no, say before, no, two Gary, minutes before, you, no, Ralph said, I got to go home and go to sleep. So in other words, I have to throw my whole office into disarray because Ralph doesn't want to re-explain something to somebody so he can go home and go to sleep. No, uh, he, but that's not, how it happened. Not, you're not John saw it, right. it, Gorilla saw it, and Gay Rich you're, saw you're it. Not, you're you don't not telling see it. it right. You're not telling it All right. 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 Tell me how it went. 
I went. You first thing in the morning. I mm -hmm. said, "Who should I have do?" And I told you, "Get rich." I do it. <laughs> Two hours later, when I'm leaving, John right. says to me, or you say to me, right, that uh, Rich is doing articles. Right. Can Gorilla or somebody go? So far, so and good. I, and, and I, I was just, I'm, I was on my way out the door. I didn't feel good. I really wanted to get home Aww. and go to sleep. So okay. in other words, so you okay, okay. Well, so let me finish. So let me finish. So um, you were heavily resistant. Finally, I, when I, I got I, mad I and, this. and yelled at you, L listen, you came back you and said it. You didn't yell at me. I did. You I said, said, you I, said, said I, don't we'll, I don't care. You run no, no, the office. No. So, That's right. I said, you know what? You we, do a, we do a stupid radio show. Can you imagine what goes on at, like, like at the government where, where corporations that like they, they actually You're make vaccines? you me they have people like Ralph and Baba Booey? Yeah. So, no, so, when, so now, wait a second. So I, cause it was very specific. I mean, there were things involved that I didn't want to. It took 10 seconds to explain. Gay Rich goes, I don't know why Ralph's making such a big deal about it. It takes 10 seconds. Seconds to re-explain. You know why? You know, like we you know why, Gary, Gary? I didn't want Gorilla to go because I didn't want it to get messed up. Okay, I, I, I felt Rich was more competent. I was. I thought he was more competent. That's not your decision. The love to make. network, Ralph. That's not your decision yeah. to make. You, you just said to me, who can I send? I, I and you told me. I, I think g Gorilla's competent enough. That's not your decision to make. Oh, no, no, oh, excuse me, Barry Boy. I handle a little more things around here than you do, and I, they get done. Okay? Uh -oh. So the fact that no, I would have went, it would have got, got done. That, that, all right? That's why I didn't, that's so why you, I didn't you, want you to say that. Me. That's why I didn't want to say well, that. Well, you yesterday. can eat me because I, I, I do a lot more around here than you do, and it's, it's all taken care of. Okay? I don't, I don't pawn off my crap for other people, all right? I, when I'm tired, I come to work and I do my work. I don't go home and sleep. Okay. All right. All right. So shut the hell up. All right. All right. But this all is right. what goes on back there. There's always you've never messed anything up. Ralph there, is throwing these wrenches Gorilla, all through. You, you've you've you, never you, messed you anything messed up. up. Okay. You've I'm never here messed anything up. As far as percentages goes, uh, mine's a little higher than yours. All right. Of what? Messing up? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Why don't you guys go back and work and, that out? And and, and uh, <laughs> oh, did they really get into a fight? I mean. And then like, Billy was complaining about Ralph too, but he doesn't want to complain on the air. Excuse me. Who forgot Howard Shorts at a very important? Shoot. I uh, did. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Hey, got you there. <laughs> they got you there. He shut you up, didn't he? Got you. <laughs> All right. What about the George? No, I just get bummed out. I really do. I get bummed out because, you know, Ralph is really not supposed to be that heavily involved in the office, but right. he is. I know. And I feel weird because we've we've sort of been becoming friends, and I feel weird about telling him sometimes, like even about coming in here. Right. You know, we, it just happened again last week. Yeah, you got to listen. You have to listen to Gary. But I feel weird because then I feel like if I tell Ralph not to do something, then all of a sudden, it you know, he thinks I'm picking on him. I and it blows the whole friendship thing. Because he's like a girl. He no, I don't. But, but when have I gotten mad? I don't get mad at you for anything that you tell me professionally. I don't tell you. I, uh, th I should be telling you a lot more things. I don't tell you. There's a lot of answers. Tell me whenever you got to tell will. me, man. I will. I'll tell you from now on. I mean, Ralph I don't. Likes to be in, 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 <laughs> instead of. In, in, you know, you let things pile up. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you, uh, Gary. Thank you, Ralph. Bill, you want to tell and, your story and, about when Ralph hit and, you and, on your head? And wait a second. Up, 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 wait a second. Wait, wait. Hold that story for a second. And I said yes. And, and I was cranky yesterday. Like I said, I didn't feel Nobody good. knows I what you're talking about. Sleep, and I said, then I said to all right, Gary, all right, I said, right. okay, right. I'll have Look, Gorilla do it. I don't care. It. I got a and headache. And Gorilla sure. ran out of here. And he goes, I, I just go wanted the audience to see that right, Gary? people I, think I what we do isn't work. You see what goes on out there? Gary, right? It should have never come to that. This is my entertainment for the day. Howard, I just have to finish one sentence. Ralph is saying, I could have done this. We could have done that yesterday. The answer is, when I said, Steve, should do it. You should have gone. Okay. By the time you put up all the resistance, Gorilla was onto another project. It should have just been. All right, man. I understand you guys got to run the office, but I got to go now. I got to go prepare my lame act. Oh yeah. What are you preparing? I don't know. It's pretty lame though. Where are you going to be? <laughs> Somewhere lame. <laughs> Where? Oh, I don't know. The next thing I'm going to be doing, I'll be at uh, Pegasus, which is. The and what are you going to do? Just stand there and I'm sign just stuff. I'm going to stand there and sign stuff. And you're it. not going to say anything to the crowd. That's right. You're going to oh, be that's pretty lame. lame. <laughs> that's lame. <laughs> 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 the, the lameness Ralph wishes he could be doing. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Ralph. It's beautiful. Maybe you should ask Billy to write a few long. lines for you. I can't afford them. <laughs> <laughs> and what's Billy mad about? Billy said, uh, "Can I say it, Billy?" I wasn't mad. I mean, I was just. Weirded out. Just tell us, Howard. Okay. <laughs> We're at the school. All right, you want to hear it? You want to hear it? Okay. Absolutely. So Billy had come back from getting his hair transplants, uh -huh. and he was wearing his hat and everything. So Ralph walks up to him and says, This was at the screening of Stuart Saves the World. Jackie stole Ralph's sandwiches while we were sitting in the dark, and Ralph <laughs> thought I did it, and he bopped me off the head. And I came to him a day later, and I said, you know, I really don't like that. You yeah, you know, Billy got tough with Billy said, Billy said to Ralph, hey. Don't bop me on the head again. I just had my hair transplants. Right. And I said, even if I didn't have my hair transplants, I'll smack you back if you ever do it again. Three days later, he comes in the office and squeezes my head with the cap on. I said, look, I told you, cut it out. 
And it's like, that's so passive aggressive. It's like, my, my worst enemies don't even touch me. I mean, they don't physically wait, bother wait, me. Billy, Billy, I mean, I touch people all the time. I, I, I forget that you have stuff going on up there. I'm but sorry. But how could you forget that I said oh, that? Ralph. Would you squeeze his head like a coconut? I, I, I mean, I might have gone up to him. resentful. I, I might have gone up to him and gone like this, like, hey, man, what's up? <laughs> That's, why is that How resentful? How resentful Why are is you? that resentful? I don't resent you. Why oh, that, yeah, that's not too drunk to come in a day later and grab somebody after he warned you it don't do it. It wasn't a day later, and you didn't say, at that point, you didn't say anything about your hair. I said it after it happened. happened. I, 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 I talked to you nice, arguing. and I warned you a second Hold time. On. He doesn't I understand talked the nice. concept. Is he shouldn't be touching him. Right. He <laughs> doesn't understand. <laughs> Billy's not angry about the hair transplant. <laughs> Billy doesn't want anybody touching his head. Yeah, I'm a 43-year-old guy. I'll do the play-by-play. So Ralph just patted Jackie in the head and Ralphie Ra and Jackie punched him in the nuts. He's so wrong. Ralph is just so wrong. He doesn't know it. Are you wrong, Ralph? Do you see? I, I agree with Billy on this. Why are you touching anyone's head unless they ask you to? I don't. He, I don't know. I, he, 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 you don't he rub hit, everybody's he, head. It was a Billy thing. He, he had <laughs> he <laughs> Billy thing. He and you know Billy had head. the hair transplant. No, no, no. He hit my. I thought he hit my. He he thought I thought he hit my Passive sandwiches. Aggressive. I thought he hit, hit my sandwiches. Yeah, but Jackie screening. hit your sandwiches. Oh, I didn't know that. Billy was closest to it, so I was like, eh, and I just joking around. Uh. Right. And then the other day, I was like, you know, you, you go up to somebody like, hey, what's up, like Get that. Get your hands off me, Ralph. <laughs> All right. Okay. Look, you know. So look, I, I listen, Obviously, head. there's I, a lot of issues. And here. I like you. No, you don't. No, you no don't. yes, I do. No, we both, me and I both like Ralph. I don't dislike Ralph. I actually I don't like him too. I, I don't dislike you. That's not why I touch you. And I was Billy. And, and in, 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 in some defense, it's hard to resist touching little short bald guys' heads. <laughs> See, that's why Billy's upset. <laughs> oh. Ralph is not patting Fred on the head. Right. Oh. Yeah, I'd have to go like this. <laughs> you know, you touch little short guys because you think you can get away with it. No, I'm, I'm in agreement but, with Billy. Yeah. Seriously, in all seriousness, Ralph, I, won't I don't want anybody yet. touching me. Yeah, I don't. I I'm touch with you. you sometimes. And like, hey, yeah, man, but, what's up? Yeah, you touch me like, because touch I, you're your paid to touch me. No, 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 like, like, you know. He's never patted Howard on the head. No, yeah. he's too tall. Uh, yeah, for and for also I'll fire you. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, obviously people don't like you. Get out of here. Oh, Gary, man. you've you're gotten it off your chest. I vented. You, get, you feel better now? I feel better. Everyone feels better. See, see you know what, Gary, does? If there's little things uh, that bother gonna, you. Stop tell it. Me, tell me right away so you don't explode at me for something little. What was it? Like, it like, was, like that Ralph, they were so oh, quickly put together oh, oh, that I didn't even have time to talk to you about them. You just did two things in five minutes What is it stuttering, John? Uh, Dominic wants to also add to the tirade on Ralph. Ah! Why? What does he have to add? About how Ralph's annoying at the card games and stuff. All right, let me hear this. Uh, it's Ralph Venter's uh, day. Remember Atlantic... Uh, it. Uh, what is it, Dominic? You better have something to say. Yeah, very simple. He dominates all situations. It's like we were in, in Atlantic City. We're all having a good time. He has to take a bath. He takes over the entire suite. It's true. He, he takes and then he, the and then he, and then he yeah, pleasured himself in the bathtub, and no one else could use it. <laughs> oh, no, wait, well, he did too. There was a, I walk in, there's this big ring around the tub, and I go, hey, dude, you're filthy. He goes, no, man. He says, it was really sexy in here, and I was watching the uh, Playboy channel. And, then we'll <laughs> and I go, wait a second. You're telling me you fouled the bathtub? It's floating yogurt. Nobody else oh. is going to use it. <laughs> but what about when Senator D'Amato sitting at the table? He dominated the game. I don't even know how it happened. It was like Ralph was I know, and, 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 and. And Ralph was saying off-color things to Senator D'Amato. I think he was saying them, too. No. <laughs> Be quiet. How dare you say that? <laughs> He's fun. He's a fine senator. Shut up. <laughs> you idiot. But like you know what it's like? It's almost like the boss's girlfriend's got power over all of us. Yeah, well, you know what? You're no, a little no, bit no, too no, jealous. No, see, that's what you guys think, and everybody resents me for it. Dominic's all upset because Howard. now I'm into biking, and Dominic wants to do everything with me, but he Dominic weighs bike. 500 pounds, and he can't go biking with me. Bike. So we haven't played cards in a real long time. Dominic goes, come on, let's play cards. I'm into biking. So I go biking all day. I don't want to. I don't want to go out and play cards. So he's all jealous. And I said that I would on my bike. I would get one of those big baby carriages that you attach to the side and put Dominic on the side cart and carry him around. But he's he's embarrassed to do that. Listen, the bike, the bike riding, and the karate and the jujitsu will all be over soon. You should we'll take be back at the card table. <laughs> you should take up You'll eating, and then you can do something with them. Uh, Ralph. <laughs> Olympics. All right, very good, Dominic. Goodbye. All right, that's Goodbye. Dominic uh, Barbara, the very all noted your girls attorney. Fighting over you. Huh? Yeah. Well, Dominic and Ralph. Dominic wants to be my girlfriend. And Ralph, he feels supplanted by Ralph. Dominic hates Ralph. Yeah. Because <laughs> because he, he goes, why are you just hanging around with that faggot? You better stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I told you once, he cornered me at another function when you weren't there. Right. And warned me to warn you about Ralph. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and he always has warned me about Ralph, that Ralph is like a user and he's bad influence. I mean, I go, Dominic. Howard is very gullible and because he Ralph comes, know how to pick his friends. Ralph actually comes over my house. 
and like we hang out. Well, yeah. And Dominic hates Ralph because Dominic wants to be hanging out. At now, the now, house. now, now, can Dominic used to like yeah. me. Like, Until you like, got, like when I first met him, like you know, first couple times he liked me, but then he realized like yeah, you me were and my, you were friends, right? And, and then all of a sudden it turned. So he gets upset by everyone. Most friends until you move in on them. <laughs> Even when I was hanging out with that guy Eddie from uh, IBM and Jeff Schick from IBM, yeah, I hang out with Jeff a lot because Jeff's always helped me out with my computer sure. and stuff. In fact, he just hooked it up so that Ratso can actually look in my computer. Fantastic. From his house. Yeah, I had that situation. Set Did up. you? Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. What? There's one more person on the phone that wants to oh, say no. stuff about Ralph, and she really is the queen of all Ralph haters. Who? Ooh. Kathy, who runs our office. Right. Kathy, oh. she bur- like he him? burns Boy, her she up. She doesn't so have a bad, bad word to say about anybody. Boy, he drives her nuts. Kathy, do you want to say something? She likes well, you know, it's a constant battle with Ralph as far as like your office, right? And- any space in the entire office. Like, I gave him, finally, an entire corner of the office. Yeah. And he promised to get a nice cabinet there and, you know, put all the shit in there. Oh! Whoa. Kathy, we're on the air. Uh, Kathy, we're on the air. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kathy, you so, you're say, so you're, what you're terrible. saying is, I had to hit the button because you used the S word, but what you're saying is, this must be serious if Kathy Tobin's oh, calling and in. And cursing. And cursing. And, cursing. and, yeah. and so you're saying that you, you gave him a special corner in the office to put his stuff away in a cabinet. Literally two months ago. Right. And, you know, he, he can't find a cabinet to put his things in because it's not perfect enough for him. And it's just getting out, you know, it's getting out of hand. If you go back there, I can't even get to my files because there's so much of his stuff. Yeah, and I saw you wrote him a nasty note this morning, too. Yeah, I mean, right. I'm fed up. I can't, I can't handle it anymore. Ralph, what are you going to do about that? Because yeah, right. I said to him, Ralph, why does Kathy have to go after you all the time? Explain this to me. I don't know anything about this. He says, well, there's a special cabinet that I need for my stuff, I would, I, and I can't find the cabinet. I said, so go out and look for the cabinet. I did. I can't, I can't find the, something. So get a different that, cabinet. That, 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 fit, that fits in there, Ralph, right? Ralph, go to there, any there's... hardware store, there's a cabinet. No, I, I, I wanted to, I've explained this to Kathy, and Kathy, yesterday I talked to Richard, and I asked him to ask you about You know, the, Ralph's whole job those... takes 15 minutes, all he has to do is blow yeah, out my hair? So no, stuff. I don't know what goes on. No, no we, we use thing. props and costumes and stuff like that, and I want to try and keep some of it here, so I needed some space for it. I asked Gary... March. You know, I mean, I can find. Kathy, a I had, I had a, I had a, thi- a clothes <laughs> thing back there with all the stuff hung <laughs> What's up. What's going on, on back there? And, you, and you took it apart and threw it out. Well, you know every what, time what? you brushed by it, it would fall apart onto the floor, and I'd be. What is it, Gary? Up. Part of the problem is, is that so Ralph's got this job here, where not only is he your stylist, but he's also in charge of some costumes. Yes. But you know, listen, we're we're confined here. We don't have the whole floor. Yeah, tell me. And about Ralph it. feels that he should have. Probably a whole room to store his stuff, and we just don't have it. And that's the battle that he and Kathy go through. I'm not battling with. Meanwhile, Ralph I, loves I, all this attention anyway because he's passive aggressive. Yeah, look at he's got everybody involved. Yeah, with everyone him. is now talking about Ralph. <laughs> which is his goal. Do you see how I everyone mean, in the show I mean, is he's involved? Not even here yeah. that long every Hate day. Hate is better than nothing. All right, here's what I'm going to rule <laughs> but, but on. Now. Hold on, I got to step in. Now listen to me. I have to step in. No, no, I've heard enough. And Kathy, I I said you're out of order. I can't think You're I out of order. Stop. Up, Mr. Find him. Check. <laughs> First of all, regarding Billy, never touch Billy. Ever. And what did you say about Kathy this morning, Gary? What's that? that like not to get I said she's in a bad mood this week. Don't get bad mood to stay away from Kathy, her. Kathy, I think you're in a bad mood. Gary. Well, you are. You're in a bad mood. Is that it doesn't a bad mean, time? But Kathy being in a bad mood doesn't mean she's wrong. I mean, she's in a bad <laughs> mood, but she's right. Period, or uh, just regular bad mood? Uh, it's, I think the combination of Ralph and some other problems we're having in the office. Uh, <laughs> get laid. Oh, dear. There's a lot of problems in the Oh! What did he say? Oh, man. Uh, what was that? <laughs> You don't want to know, Kathy. <laughs> you don't know. Man, you got some problem, huh? See, there, but there's, I got, you got I, there's a war. Personnel <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I, hey, anyway, no, let me I, tell you something. I'm going to settle it all. Oh, see, no, I, say, I, what I is like this? No, I was going to say, I can see how the, the Gary was started. I remember, Gary, remember when Ralph was telling you, oh, Gary, from now on, I want you to call me and let me know when the, when all the guests are here. Yeah, that was another battle <laughs> we had. <laughs> That's Ra- how it started. Ralph's here all morning, right? His right. job is to give makeup to the guests if they want them. Ralph gets a schedule at the beginning of the week. He knows when everyone's coming. Yeah. One day a guest came in, and she got in here before she got makeup. Up and Ralph said, I would like you to call me when the guests come. And I no. said, Hey, Ralph, you got nothing to do all morning except wait for the guests. Uh, Gary, I'm running around producing the show. I was working that day, I happened to be working on something for Well, Robin. you could inform him. That's nothing wrong and, with and that. I, I, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You should be wait. here. If I, Howard, if I'm running around producing the show, if the phones are ringing yeah. and stuff going on. So, but get, you don't want him near your office. And it, he, he should be near the front. There's an office that Ganji has. So you want him staying at the Gan- front? Ganji sits in an office yeah. and waits for the guests to come. He's got he, he this does almost He's in the back the same job doing So, how did Ganji give you a call? Ganji was working on articles or something. 
something. Oh, and I please. just mentioned in passing. Listen, I've scary. heard enough of this. I got to get. I got a show to do. I want to talk about the president and the fact that the White House is being invaded. <laughs> this is more important. Don't touch Billy's head. That's number one. <laughs> okay. Just leave Billy alone. Don't even talk to Billy. That's number one. I like Billy. No, though. do you like him? No, he don't like you. You heard what he said. He finds you annoying. <laughs> don't touch Billy. Don't touch anyone on the show. As far as Gary goes, I told you. It's, Stay it's, out of the office. Just blow my hair out. That's what you're here it's for. It's always a struggle with right. me and Gary. And now, the, the big problem here between you and Kathy is you have costuming, right, that uh, we use on the show. I want you to talk to uh, Kathy about it today. She'll give you a timetable for to get this. Discuss with her what you need. And then also talk to the E-people. They're involved with some of this costuming. They will brainstorm with you. And they and this week you will get the, uh, the necessary shelving. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Yeah, very good, Kathy. Thank you. That's all. I try to act less like a homo. Try to act like a regular guy. <laughs> You're whining too much. All right, now everyone talked about you. Get out. Yeah. Everyone out. Did I solve everything? Yes. Good. What? I know. I thought you were. I thought you were going to go to break, and I was going to tell you some other things we were going to talk about. All right. All right. I will take a break. <laughs> I got some off. This is a radio show. Imagine if we did something important. Oh, I do just want to add that, that I just was, can't you would hate it if Ralph everybody got along. Ralph, in the few hours that he's here, Ralph, every, this much hair. Ralph, all he has to do is blow out hair. <laughs> everybody does get along except for you. He said oh, you would hate it if everybody got along. Always talking about it behind everybody's hard. back. And everybody's talking you know about who? Uh, Ralph thinks the reason why people don't like him is because he hangs out with you and he's your buddy and everyone's jealous of him. But the point is, when <laughs> before <laughs> Ralph, yeah, Howard, before Ralph hung out with you at Channel Nine, he didn't hang out with you as friends yet. Everyone hated him there too. Right. I mean, he doesn't realize it's his personality. He's nothing to do with you. It's true. Everyone in Channel Nine hated you, Ralph. <laughs> they wanted to find him every other week. I know. I was the only one helping him. <laughs> I don't care what you tell me, Howard. He's I, disrupted to the show, and I have to have the authority to fire him. I can't stand him. <laughs> it's true. Dan hated you, too. So it's yeah. not your friendship, Ralph. It's you. It's you, man. Hey, you know, John, good point. Thanks. Incompetent people get upset by me. <laughs> That's what happened. They were so incompetent Ralph, when you at get, Channel 9. When you get a AAA rating, you can call everyone else incompetent. <laughs> I didn't call you incompetent. No, no, but you're calling... You, you, once again, you're blaming your problems on other people. Did you ever stop to think that, hey, maybe I'm a little annoying? Uh, maybe a little, but okay. not enough to cause a problem. <laughs> All right, let's... Why don't you don't guys... get annoyed by Hi, it, my name man. is Ralph, and I'm an annoyaholic. Why, why do you have to get annoyed? What am I doing that's annoying you? Howard, put it this way. One day... <laughs> One day I saw Ralph yelling at an intern because he got a speeding ticket. And Ralph was yelling at him he shouldn't be speeding. And, and, and then the intern was like, who the you hell don't, is this don't, guy? Don't uh, interface no, with people. I wasn't yelling at the intern. We you're trying to do shtick. You're, you're trying to be at, funny. You're, you're trying no, to be I funny. wasn't trying to be funny. The uh, guy was driving around I Listen, with no, I don't care. I no, got a million no. things to do on this show. Go ahead. Now, everybody get along. Everyone shake hands. Shake hands with Gary. Shake hands with Billy. And that's the end of it. Shake hands I, with I wanna, Jackie. I, wanna, and I don't want to touch All right, don't touch Billy. Shake hands with uh, Jackie. And that's oh, it. I don't Jackie doesn't want to touch <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Can I pat him on the head? All right. Let's uh, take a break, and then I'll clear everyone out, and we'll get to the regular show with everybody the phone calls. Everybody go back to their neutral corners. Yeah. I can't take it anymore. It's it's unbelievable. I come out I and... I couldn't believe Kathy Tobin. I've never heard her upset with anybody. She used the S word and the F word. <laughs> and, her I, and her I don't even see. <laughs> no, no. The point is you shouldn't see each other. Ralph should be gone by 8.30. Kathy gets in at 9, but somehow they keep crossing over. Mm. All right. Let's take a break, and everyone will be back right after these words. We hate them. We hate them. What would you like to do? I had to make that point. <laughs> I was going to yell in there and go and say, yeah, we don't like them either. <laughs> I was gonna, Scott. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to get you guys in trouble. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, man. So it doesn't bother you, Ralph, that all these people don't like you? Uh, I don't know, man. What am I gonna do? Do you, do you feel you're passive aggressive? I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, are you gonna go home and take a hard look at yourself and, and the situation around here? I mean, everybody was running in on, on how they don't like you and how you pissed them Where off. Where were you, man? I, I, you know, I would have went in, but I figured the studio was too crowded. <laughs> it wouldn't fit. What am I going to do, man? I mean, you're not going to do anything about it? You don't, it doesn't what bother I, you? What am I going to do? But it doesn't bother you at all. No, no matter how I act, people, the be, people will be annoyed with me, so. But you feel you're in the right? I don't know. Specifically, I, I don't know. Pat and Billy on the joke going around. I mean, do I ever go up to you and touch you? Do I ever go up and be like, hey, Gange, what's up? Or something like that? It was no, that kind of no, thing. No, no. Yeah, I do. Come on, man. Don't. No, no. I, I mean, it, it may, maybe you do. But it, you know what? It just maybe it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm, I don't notice right, it. Right, so? You know. So it bothered Billy. I don't know, man. 
But I mean, do you think that's wrong? I mean, if it bothers him, you shouldn't do it, right? Is okay, so I won't touch the guy. Right. You know? But what what about everything else? I mean, you know, well, you I, have I problems with I, Kathy, you have problems with Gary. Everybody problems has problems with, with Kathy. Uh, but she's she it's her you know she's running the office I mean yeah but she doesn't run so but I I'm not part of the office you know what well, I mean you complain about everybody complains about Kathy <laughs> let's, I mean let's be real about it what are you like pretending for like Kathy I'm the only one that's like Kathy but you're the only one who gets these notes I mean he's you know left well she can yell at you right here she doesn't see me so she's got to leave me a note. But, but don't you think you should try to rectify the situation? Yeah, I, mean, I did. I explained that on the air, that yesterday I had the situation solved, but Richard didn't pass but, that information oh along God. to her. But why couldn't you pass it along to her? Because I didn't see her. I know, but, you know, you could call her. I didn't want to. But, all right. So, I mean... So, I asked Richard to do it, okay, and Richard but, did it. And Richard see, was supposed to do it, and he didn't do it. So, what do you want okay, me to do? Okay, all right. But don't you think in the future, then, you should rely on yourself? It's not that yourself? important to me. If it, it, why can not Kathy call me? Why'd she have to leave me a note? Why she, couldn't she pick up the phone and say, in the time it sits there, it takes her to sit down and write a note, why can't she call my house and say, hey, what's the matter? How come we don't have something done back there? I guess. I don't, well, I don't know. Why? Yeah. Why does it have to fall on me? Because I don't like, like, like you're Gary creating says, the problem I'm, for her. She's not creating the problem for you. You know what I mean? It's not a problem for her. She's making it into a problem. Why is it a problem? Well, it seems from what I understand. You, you know how Kathy blows everything well, up and right, like, from what creates I, from her what own problem. From what I understand, is that you know you're taking up a lot of room in the office and you no, have to you leave your stuff around. But this is what I understand. This is from what I. But not, it's not my stuff. You know, it, it, it's our stuff. It's a it's, show. It's, I'm it's, trying to get it. And you know, everybody puts everybody puts me in that position where it's like like it's you and your stuff and you and what you have to do. Nobody wants to work together. But you know? I mean, at so, some so point, Kathy could take a look point, and see if she could you know, see if something would work. I've been trying to find something. I can't find the right thing. Everything's too, too small. I want but, to find something big. But you know, you know, there's a lack of room around here. I mean, don't you obviously know that? So getting something big, maybe is not the answer. Maybe you have to sacrifice I, a little bit. I no, mean, no, okay. you, know, you don't know what you're talking about. You just said you wanted a big cabinet, right? Yeah. Cool? So, so if you have if you have eight feet of feet of space, right. are you going to put a, a four foot cabinet? In no, there? but if you do, you have eight feet of space. Is that the yeah? Situation? There's there's enough space in there, and I want to find something big. So then you can't find the situation is that you can't find something big enough or right right size. Right. And, and what I and what I just said, I said there's these those black crates back there I wanted to use, and I asked Richard to ask Kathy if I could use them, and if I couldn't use them, can I get more? Right. So I guess that's the problem. Then that's the situation, right? Then it should be rectified. Then to, then as of today, there should be no more problem when she comes. In.